The Progressive Liberal Party's election machinery shifted into high gear in Abaco last evening as a sitting Free National Movement member of Parliament joined hands in support of PLP candidates. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping the news tonight, scores of PLP supporters gathered at Abaco Central High School last evening to hear from party leader candidates and other party officials. It was a joint branch meeting for the Abaco candidates, but as Opal Roach tells us tonight, an opposition member of Parliament who also previously served under the Christie administration showed up in support. It's such a wonderful feeling to come here to be with Romano and Eva and then have Edison King standing with us. And with the Free National Movement's representative for South Abaco standing on stage supporting PLP candidates Eva Bain and Renato Curry, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie told supporters the choice is clear. Outlining the Progressive Liberal Party's accomplishments this term in office, Mr. Christie says his administration has invested in Abaco and there is much more to come. We've laid a foundation for infrastructure, industry, and even agriculture. New docking facilities, new port, the ingenuity to create festivities that attract boaters, to enjoy the, our good waters, have also contributed to the boom in the economy in Abaco, and this is the kind of development that is sustainable. So a great foundation has been laid. Now we have to do more. In doing more, the Prime Minister says opportunities for Abaconians will expand as a result of government's investment in education and training. And I want all the young people to understand in tomorrow's Abaco and tomorrow's Bahamas, education is key, training is key. Believe that you could do more, believe that you could do better, believe that this is a Bahamas that you should be a major player in, do not accept what you are as the limit to what you could become. Remember that. The nation's chief also highlighted the success of Bamsey in North Andros, saying Abaco also has arable land. He encouraged the young people to tap into that sector. We've already chronicled that Grand Bahama has 30,000 acres, Abaco has 50,000 acres, and Andros has 138,000 acres. And we know that the soil content and makeup is no different to that of Florida in the sense that it can grow and grow viably. So to the young ones here, there are opportunities that we in the Progressive Verbal Party have identified, we are promoting it, we want to connect you to it because our economy must be strengthened, there are more, more jobs must be created, more people must be rewarded by having jobs because we're going to expand the economy and those are areas that we can do so. And after laying out those plans for the island of Abaco, the Prime Minister again sent this message to the electorate. There is very little time left. And that if you are going to participate as a voter in the upcoming general election, you must register now. I'm Ophel Roach, ZNS Network News. Free National Movement Member of Parliament for South and Central Abaco, Edison Key, also making it clear where he stands when it comes to politics. I'm not with the FNM any longer. Simple as that, period. Pop. They know, and Minas knows, I am no longer with the FNM, period. Support the PLP. And when keep the government in place. During the branch meeting last evening, North Abaco's candidate Renato Curry and South and Central Abaco candidate Eva Bain addressed supporters saying they are ready for the task at hand. I believe that we are in a much better position now than when the FNM left office. PLPs, the FNM left our country in need of relief and recovery. Their leader knows how bad a state and how horrible a government they were. He told the Bahamian people that they left the economy in a wheelchair without even batting an eye. Now they want another chance to disappoint 
the Bahamian people again? No. I say no. no. We have worked hard to lift ourselves from the deep hole in which they left us. Our country is on course, and we must continue moving forward together, Bahamians. We have been able to accomplish much in this term to assist our people. In 2016, the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, or BTBI, began holding classes for interested persons on the island of Abaco. This is much welcome and much needed to provide Abacoonians with the opportunity for training and certification. Several persons also receive full scholarships, I repeat, full scholarships to attend BTBI here on Abaco. In the area of infrastructural development and upgrading, we have been able to carry out road paving in Dundas Town, Murphy Town, Green Turtle Key, and soon in Leisurely.